Have you ever wondered why in the parable that our Lord Jesus Christ told, called the parable of the talent, God gave a man five talents, he gave another one two talents, he gave the last one one talent. Why did he not give them the same talent five, five, five? It is because God knows individual. He created us differently. We are not the same. We don't have the same destiny. We are not created of the same material. God does not have the same purpose for each of us because he's a big, great God. He's a God of varieties. He likes to make different kinds of things. And so he made us in different way, gave us different ability, different destiny. We can never obtain the same result. And this is why the Bible says, godliness with contentment is great gain. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga as usual. God has put a word in my mouth this morning to speak to you, to encourage you, to motivate you, to inspire you, and to bless you. And this morning I pray, as you listen to the, the word of God through my mouth this morning, God will bless you. God will make way for you. God will heal your body if you are sick in the body. In the mighty name of Jesus, if you are sick in your soul or in your spirit, be healed in the name of Jesus. The word of God is healing to our flesh. Receive your healing. Somewhere around 7 verse 26, he sent his word and he healed them and he delivered them from their destruction. As you hear the sound of my voice this morning, be healed of any disease, be healed of any virus. Whatever is ailing you is taken out of your body right now with the word of God. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. This morning, I want to talk about the topic which I say, godliness with contentment. If you look at the book of First Timothy chapter 6, from verse 6 to verse 10, please, I'd like you to read this as you listen to this voice. Please take your Bible right now, and I want you to open to the book of First Timothy chapter 6, and I want you to read from verse 6 to verse 10. In that place, God says, godliness with contentment is great gain. In verse 7, he said, we brought nothing to this world, and it is certain we carry nothing out. He said, if we have food and clothing, let us be contented with that. And he says, the love of money, the love of money is the root of all evil which some have attempted to do and they have, you know, erred and they are falling into diverse temptation and they are falling out of the faith. Now, what is this saying to us this morning? God is saying to you and I, that look, you are all my people. I don't create you the same. I don't put the same ability in you. Some are created to be multi-millionaires. Some are not created to be. That is just the truth. Because he gave some five talent. He gave some two talent. But he gave one, one talent. He gave some people. Some people have only one talent. It is not the number of talents that God gave you that matters. It is how you use your talent that really matters. Now, if the one that is giving one talent, you see, trade with his talent and gain another talent, it will be commended by our Lord. The one that is giving five talent is not loved more than the one that is giving one talent. I don't know the talent God has given you. And this is the reason why so many people enter into so many things that they ought not to enter into. And this is some of the reasons why we hear some even some pastors are in jail because they are trying to be what they are not called to be. See, the Bible says, if we have food and we have clothes, we should thank God and we should be contented. That should satisfy us. But when we want to be like him, when we want to be like her, do we know the number of talents God gave him? Do you know the number of talents God gave her? You cannot compare yourself with the president of, of, of South Africa. You cannot decide, I want to be like Dangote. Now, if God created you to be like Dangote, you will have the natural abilities, and whatsoever you do, as you work hard on those talents, you will naturally gain more, and without effort, you will get there. 
And this is what I want you to know this morning. You cannot be me, neither can I be you. You are created in, in, your, in your own grand style. There is no two people that is like you upon the face of the earth. You are wonderfully and specially made. Now, God wants you to be contented. God wants you to work hard, but he wants you to be contented. And this is why I want you to understand. And this is why if you understand this, you will never be moved. When some pastors are saying, see, this is my shoe. I bought it for one million, one million dollars. I bought my rich watch for five million dollars. You will not go crazy when you hear that. And I don't even know why some pastors should talk like that. Some people are being kind of, you know, forced into some demonic and lustful chase after money because they hear some testimonies that are really not meaningful from some pastors. You see? If God has blessed you, and you know in your church people have not even eaten food, why do you talk about buying a million dollar worth of wristwatch? This is what I want you to know. It's not all about money. Christianity is not all about gain. Christianity is not all about prosperity. You see, Christianity is more than that. Because if you have 100 trillion rand, you will die one day. That money cannot save you. You see? There is something in the gospel that is more than money. Why do we want to focus only on money and run our life to destruction because of money? No, let's not do that. God is more than money for you. God wants to bless you. And that is why some people, they don't go to church. They are so, everything they think is money. They run for money. They work for money. They live for money. They die for money. And they go to hell because of money. Don't be like that. Serve God. Help other people. You are here to make a difference in the life of other people. Other people matter. Think about them. This is the word this morning. This is what God wants me to remind you. You know, some of you, you know these things. But God just wants me to remind you. And I want to thank you for listening. God bless you. Please rebroadcast this to people. Get somebody blessed. God will bless you for that. Thank you once again. My name is Joseph Adenuga, the pastor of Prevailing Church. Today is Tuesday. We're having a wonderful service in Springstown. You see, Second Street, almost opposite Top Center Club. 5.30 is the time. Please come if you're around Joburg, if you're around Springs. Come and celebrate with us. Let's pray together. Today is prayer time. And if you're in Bethlehem, go to Kodison, half past five to seven o'clock. Servants of God are there to bless you. Thank you so much. Your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenuga, signing out and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.